Hi, first grade. Um, it's Mrs. Klein again. So um, now hopefully you have a drawing of the butterfly life cycle. Um, I posted mine up here on the wall. I gave it a title. It says butterfly life cycle on it. And um, here you can see the eggs for stage one, the caterpillar for stage two, the chrysalis or pupa for stage three, and the adult butterfly for stage four. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how we can use um, a picture to help us with our writing. So what I did was I printed um, two sheets of the foundations lined paper that um, I had attached to my page for today. And I'm just gonna start by making a topic sentence that's going to tell about what my writing is going to be about. So my writing today is all about um, the life cycle of a butterfly and how it lives. So I thought that I would start by giving it a topic sentence like this, okay? So I'm gonna write butterflies. Butterflies have four stages in And instead of saying its life cycle, since I'm talking about more than one butterfly, um, I don't have an eraser, but I'm going to change that word. And I'm going to say their, T-H-E-I-R, because I'm talking about more than one type of butterfly. Because every butterfly has the same four stages of their life cycle. So butterflies have four stages in their life cycle. Okay, that's my topic sentence. That is what my entire writing is going to inform someone about. This is an infor informational piece of writing that's going to tell true facts about the butterfly. And we're going to use this picture and the words that are on it to help us to do that. So butterflies have four stages in their life cycle. First, and then I'm going to look at my picture. Okay, first. Okay, and I know from um, the previous video or picture that you might have looked at and my picture here that I have and the one that you should have in front of you, the first stage is the egg stage. So you're going to use that picture to help you write that. So first, you're going to find ways in your own words to write this. And egg is... Laid on a leaf. After the egg is laid, if we look at our life cycle here, we see that it becomes the larva stage. And the caterpillar will come out of that egg. So I'm going to use that transitional word next. Next. A, and then I'm not sure how to spell caterpillar, so I'm gonna refer to my picture to do that. First A, and I don't know if I have enough room, so I'm gonna come down here. First A, caterpillar, C-A-T, cater, making sure I'm spelling it right. Next, a caterpillar. And I know from learning um, and watching videos and reading the books that we have been looking at all week long that the caterpillar crawls out of that egg. So a caterpillar crawls out. Of the egg. And I know that it doesn't just all of a sudden become a pupa, but it has to do something, okay? It has to eat a lot. So um, I'm gonna include that in my writing. So next, a caterpillar crawls out of the egg and eats 
to grow bigger and bigger. Okay, so then I have to think what happens after that. So I have the egg and then the larva stage and then it becomes a pupa or a chrysalis. So I now need to talk about how that happens. So I'm going to go back and reread what I've written so far. So next, the caterpillar crawls out of the egg and eats to grow bigger and bigger. Then, it finds a twig or a leaf to hang from. Okay, so it finds a twig or a leaf to hang from. And I know that um, every butterfly has the same life cycle. So even though these are not the same exact type of butterfly that I taught you about today, the monarch, um, I have a uh, painted lady butterfly um, figurines here for you that you can look at. So here I have the egg. Here I have the caterpillar. Here I have the pupa, which is the chrysalis, and it looks like it's hanging from the twig. And here's the adult version of the painted lady butterfly. Okay, so um, I wanted to show you that those four stages are the same no matter what type of butterfly we're talking about. So I knew that it had to find a, a leaf or a twig to hang from, so that's why I thought I would show you that here, that it's hanging from a twig. Okay, so after it starts to hang, It turns into a, then I'm going to look at my picture here to spell that correctly, chrysalis. It turns into a chrysalis. Okay. So, so far I have three of the four stages recorded here. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning again and just reread what I have to make sure that it makes sense because good authors should always do that. Butterflies have four stages in their life cycle. First, an egg is laid on a leaf. Next, a caterpillar crawls out of the egg and eats to grow bigger and bigger. Then it finds a twig or leaf to hang from. After it starts to hang, it turns into a chrysalis. And then I remember learning that for the monarch butterfly, it took about 10 days. But for other butterflies, it might take a little bit longer. So I'm going to say after about... Ten days, it turns into an adult butterfly.
Okay, I think that's really exciting. So I'm going to use an exclamation point there. And as a good author, I don't just want to stop there after my last fact. I want to put some type of closing statement in there. So what I'm going to say is that um, the butterfly life cycle is very interesting and fun to watch. Okay, so from all of the things that I have seen with um, the vi different videos and in all of the books that we've been reading this week, that's how I'm feeling about the butterfly life cycle. So what I would like you to do is on either the foundations line paper that we have uh, available for you on this page today to download and print, or you can use your own lined paper. Um, I want you to use your illustrated um, version of the life cycle of a butterfly to help you to write about it. And then you can take a picture of your um, life cycle and your writing, and then you can submit it on Schoology so we can see your amazing work. Okay, so I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you later.